What are they? Skulls. The skulls don't always wear skulls. Skulls are maybe ones that were actually human heads, like yours or mine, right? With all flesh, with all hair and everything. This place that is so close to the ball court, they thought that maybe these heads are the ones that belong to those guys, right? But when, as I mentioned to you, the whole meaning, uh, the purpose and the reason, obviously they are just only you for one person, right? And maybe how often they might play that game to please the gods. I don't think that it might happen every weekend or maybe every month or once a month or maybe even once a year. I don't really believe that one too. But obviously it happens every once in a while that I believe every 52 years. Because every 52 years when the calendars end, a new calendar begins, they also build new temples. They build temples on top or they add temples to another temple, like they add more to one temple. So if they play the game every 52 years, right, that is enough. Maybe by the every time that they play the game, they might offer maybe many people. I would believe that one too, okay? And if they offer it, it's because they offer many of the people, but none is there from the game. People from out there, remember that we send people to capture, right? Because at the end of 50 cycle, 50 years, will be the new fire, ceremony of the new fire. So the guys that probably they were offered right there once, that they cut the head off, were not players, were enemies that they were captured because this 52 cycle, 52 cycle ends, right? And with this joy and ritual and ceremonies, and we also might offer to please their guts every once in a while, right? And that means a lot because there's a lot of carving right there. When we find the skulls there, the few ones that we find in that place, because the name is Sompantli. Sompantli means graveyard cemetery, right? When we find the skulls, we learn. And we keep learning every time we have found more skulls. Because what is very weird, you can check that one in any book or anything, the stories, is that we always found few, few bones in few places. And that's actually another mystery. If this place used to have once 100,000 people, why we haven't found thousands of bones, right? Because people died. I mean, not necessarily because they fight or there was a war. People died, right? And if people die, you're supposed to bury those people. Or maybe you have to do something else. Maybe you might cremate those people, right? And if you cremate, maybe there might be some bones left. Because cremation, there's a few bones left, right? Where are they? We always found skulls, always, everywhere. Always skulls, right? The rest of the body are none. When we find the skulls, we discover something that is quite amazing because this is supposed to be practiced only among high class, upper class. Mayas did, Incas in Peru did, Egyptians and Sumerians, four different ones. And that is a custom from the skulls. When a baby was born, since the first day born, they applied to these babies that have been choose, select, two boards of piece of wood. One probably right here, another one right here at the back, and during the next 20 weeks they will type more, more every single day. Something like this. Hmm? Yes, ah, because we all use the same one. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna show you another one's called. I mean, they, they use those ones. Or probably something like this. Move around, go, 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 move around. Because. They used that one, right? And we have found some skulls in different places. Remember that this family are Itzais, remember? Mm -hmm. The name of this place, Itza. So the skulls that we found from the Itzais, you guys are the Itzais. So you got your style, you got your way, right? But these guys come with a place with the name Ushmal and they are known as Shu. It's a family. And we come from a place with the name Mayapan and our name is Kokom, not a family. If one of the Kokoms comes to visit the Itzais, to Chichen Itza, you might know who I am right away, because probably my name is so big, so important, that you hear about me. But you also recognize where I come from because the way I look like, right? And because what I wear. And probably because I am the son of someone so big, so important, if I smile at you, you can also notice who I am because the upper class did and other customs are part of this head. Upper class, they can choose of a hundred different styles. I choose one, right? And this work that they've done where I come from has been done so nice that I would be very happy to be smiling at you to show you all this dental work that they did. The shape that I like of a hundred different ones is pyramids. So I would be actually making someone file my teeth like a pyramid, okay? 
And also I would be wearing what I used to know and what I like, that is jade or turquoise. Because I am this upper class, right? And they're teeth, so they drill. But if you cannot afford that much because you were not high, I mean, priest or ruler or whatever, you are just pro astronomer, you might wear something else. Maybe you might wear another stone, right, that is not so expensive. But what about maybe obsidian, right, that you might use right there. So let me show you these pictures. This is actually a picture that you might be familiar with because this is Egyptian. Right? And the next picture is going to be Sumerian. And Sumerians are today Iraq, or used to be once Mesopotamia and Babylonia. This one. And the next three more pictures, they're going to be different Mayan skulls, right? Remember two different families? So the first picture we talk about its size. So its size probably use or look like this. Right? Second family that we talk about was the shoe. And the shoe family probably looks like this. And the third family, right, the Kokomis, that came all the way from Mayapan. They look different, so they are kind of like a more good looking guys, right? That's my family. Looks like this. That's huge. Yes, you like that one? That's huge. It doesn't look like that. Doesn't look? Not yet? <laughs> no. no they, they... You got a little more stretching in the back here today. No, the problem is that uh, they didn't did it to me, right? When I was a kid and right now, even though I wanted to have to do it, it cannot work, right? It's too hard now, <laughs> yeah. right? Usually it's done when you're a baby, right? So I ask you, some of you, some of you already have babies. There are sometimes babies that they come up like this. Are you yes or not? Right? Because they are so tight and they come up like looking like that one. And you might believe you didn't know, right? That your baby might stay looking like that one, right? And they would be not very nice uh, by the standards of how beauty, beauty it is or whatever, right? But this head goes back to the normal face. Thank you very much. And then, so obviously that one. Now about the dental work. Remember this one? Right? This will be jade. Jade or turquoise are the same. I mean, green represent life, right? Green is life. And when it's used obsidian, they look like this. Okay? Anyway. So, uh, right now we are going to uh, one more stop, okay? And then when we finish in that stop, you guys are free. So listen this. In case if any of you in your free time, we'll mandar acá. This guy that is right here, he got a huge photo album, okay? Bigger than mine, with more pictures than mine. Uh, I don't know, how many photos are 1,000 pictures of all this Mayas, Chichen Itza and everything, skulls and everything right there. Because they're going to be finishing right there, he's going to be here, he always here, right? In case you, any of you guys wants to get something that one, because you can use that one at home, DVD, or even in your computer, right? And you can print it, or you can do whatever you want. He'll be here. He got uh, this uh, disc, right? That if you want, you come to him, because he will be here around. So, and he has the Equinox event, and he has everything right there. So he will be here in case you want to. Cuesta $10, it's $10, right? And you got 1,000 pictures for $10, right? So you want to, just come with him, right? And he'll be here. But we're gonna be finishing right there, right? Isn't that way we don't take you that much of your time? So only if you want to, you will come with him.